Sean Harris at InfoSec Hotspot asks, does anyone know of people like Michio Kaku that can explain string theory like he does for people like me, and I'm not a genius? Well, I am Michio Kaku, and I'd be glad to answer that question. First of all, most textbooks say that an electron is a dot. Particles that we see in our atom smashers are dots. But if I had a super microscope, I could see that that dot is actually a rubber band. From a distance, this rubber band looks like a dot. Close up, you see that it's a vibrating string. Now, this rubber band can vibrate in many different modes. Each mode can be called a particle. So, for example, this might be an electron. But if you twirl it in a different way, it becomes a quark. And if you twirl it this way, you have to give it a different name. We call it a neutrino. Now, how many ways can one string vibrate? The answer is obvious. An infinite number of vibrations on the same string. And so we think that all the subatomic particles of the universe, the quarks, the neutrinos, the mesons, the protons, the neutrons, there's a galaxy of these particles. They're nothing but musical notes on a tiny rubber band. A rubber band so small that it looks like a dot. So what is physics that we had to struggle with in high school? Physics is the harmonies. The harmonies of vibrating strings. Physics tells us how these vibrations move. What is chemistry? Chemistry is when these strings bump into each other and form molecules. Alan